and congratulations on the big win, but also your 200th MLS appearance. Congratulations on that. Can Thank you, you take us through that game-winning goal? Because I don't think it happens without your hustle and your persistence there. Yeah, I think it was a play down the left side. And as I've done before, I try and get into the box late and know that you know I, I can maybe get on the end of either a cross or a shot like I scored. Uh, last week and this time it was a shot again and a deflection again and um, it was a bit too wide um, obviously a good good save by the keeper and then um, yeah just trying to hit it across I saw Brian standing in the middle of the goal I try and hit it across the defender blocks it and then second one is honestly it's it's me just trying to shoot it as hard as I can across goal and, and hoping that either deflection from the defender happens or Brian stands right there and you know just needs to put his belly out and and then dink it in so um, yeah, it worked out exactly like I wanted to. I think, you know, good things happen when you shoot the ball across like that, and um, it did in that moment. Now, this is the second MLS home game where the team is not allowed a, a shot on target by the opposition. You guys lose Andres Cubas, but what was the key to the another strong defensive performance tonight? I mean, you, you, Andres obviously, you know, getting hurt. I don't know. I haven't even seen him, uh, what, the in, in, what the, you know, extent of that injury is. Um, but uh, Seb obviously coming in, you know, doing a very good job, stepping in right away. Um, not easy to come in like that and, and kind of, you know, leaving, uh, leaving. Yeah, there's no change or nothing at all. He's done a very good job in that sense. But I think it was a mindset thing today for all of us, you know, on set pieces, on um, you know every ball that comes in the box, every every long ball they throw at us, and um, you know it's very good to have that kind of mindset of of trying to um, trying to keep the zero. Um, and we know that we have the quality going forward that what we have been doing that in terms of creating chances that we can score um you know and today well, we scored one last week it was five um so but if we keep the, the shutout and, and kind of that mentality going i think that always gives us a chance um at winning the game you know and, and a very high probability in that sense so um very good and obviously very happy with with the shutout and, and the win Julian, you saw the net, uh, the ball go into the back of the net twice and twice being disallowed. When the third time came around, how relieving was it to finally get on the score sheet legally this time? Yeah, I think the the couple before were I wasn't really celebrating, so it was uh, I kind of knew that. I think Ranko, I didn't know if he was offside. I think obviously I saw it on the on the video screen, and I think he was. Um, and the second one, I immediately saw that I think he pushes him. Um, so as soon as I heard the whistle, I was like, OK, yeah, I think it's a foul and he's not going to take it back. So uh, I wasn't really celebrating. But um, yeah, obviously, when you know you have a game like that where, like Har said, I think there's no shot on goal from the opponent and um, you're kind of on the front foot, you, you create things and um, maybe not as many clear chances as we maybe could have in a sense of, of being as, as intentional as we as we as we could have been. Um, but you know, then to finally have the breakthrough is, is a good thing because sometimes these kind of games can also, you know, go a different way. Of, of they get a chance and they score a goal, and then you're all of a sudden left with nothing after another good performance. So um, happy, obviously, just to get one, and, and you know, it's three points, no matter if it's one zero, four zero, whatever. And talking about that. Um do you feel like you get more antsy or nervous after dominating such a game, but then, you know, 70 minutes go by and you feel like the opposition thinks that they can go and, and make a goal and make a result? Do you think that uh, you or your team starts to play a bit different, try to get ahead? No, I think not necessarily. I, I think you obviously know as the game goes on, you know, every play becomes more and more crucial because there's less and less time left. Um, so. Um, but, you know, in, in terms of our mindset, I thought we, we played really well in the first half. Like I said, could have been a bit more intentional and a bit more direct at times, but um, to create a bit more danger. Um, but in the second half, you know, I thought we kind of, you know, started, you know, where we left off in the first and continued to just kind of keep adding, keep adding, keep at it. And, and then, um, you know, again, you know, one of those chances will have to fall eventually. That's what you have to believe and that's why you have to keep going. So um, today did and, and we were able to, again, keep them, you know, away from our goal. Um, easy day for Yohe and, um, you know, a good good day, uh, obviously, up front in terms of scoring one goal. And if you keep a shutout, one goal is enough.
And last one for me, in these kind of rivalry games, you saw the crowd was getting super loud and the ref was dishing out yellow cards. Is it hard to not kind of buy into the occasion and start to get aggressive uh, and try to defend your team and uh, defend the lead? No, I think I think you want to. At least that's that's what I do. I think I want to. And I think it's a bit normal. It is a rivalry and it is a derby in a sense. And I thought the referee did a very good job today of managing it, even late. You know, when it gets a little chippier, he did a good job. And uh, obviously credit to him for that. But, um, you know, things like after the final whistle or, you know, a little extracurricular stuff, I think that's good. You know, emotions running high. Vanny obviously very emotional on the sideline, wanting to win. We all want to win. And, um, you know, I think that's that's pretty normal, and it was it didn't get out of hand. I thought it was, you know, all all within within reason, and um, yeah, I th I thought it was a little bit expected. So, no problem. Thank you. No problem. That's it. One more. I'd like to make one question. What's the difference for you to score or to make an assistance? <laughs> I always say two assists is better than one goal. Huh? No, so uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. If, if I get a chance to score, I love to score. If I get a chance to make an assist like today, uh, I love to make assists and, and provide others with, with the chance to score. Um, you know, I think overall what I want is the team to win. And, and there um, my, my role has been more of an assister than a scorer. And um, yeah, we'll see how the next game goes. Maybe I'll score a goal again or who knows.